diabolical performance, to be honest with you. I mean, it's still actually going on right now. It's in the 88th minute, going about the 89th minute just now. We've had upwards of 16 chances in this game. Haven't taken any of them. You know, people can say we've made one change to the Man City game in terms of the lineup, the people coming in. And to be honest, yeah, we made one change. But, you know, the team that we put out, it should, should be able to get a good result against Swansea. But at the moment, we're not. We're losing 1-0. It's a crap goal to concede that we did, but we did. And that is pretty, you know, they, they're taking advantage of everything that they that they could right now. The ball fell to them in the box. I think it was Van Dijk headed it out, tried to header it out anyway. It fell to, they had two attackers, our defence and midfielders that were in the box. <laughs> you know, they just parted like the Red Sea. They did. They parted like the sea. And they scored They scored their goal, 1-0. <laughs> Since then, they're, they're taking every opportunity they've got. Now, people are complaining on Twitter and stuff like that that Swansea are taking forever to take a throw in, to take a goal kick, to do this, that and the other. If I was Swansea, I'm bottom of the league. I need every point that I can get. And they're going to get a win against Liverpool by the looks of it. It's still not over right now. I'm going to do this review right up until the final whistle, if we get a draw, whatever. But, like, I would be doing the exact same thing as Swansea. I really would be. I would be doing... I would be absolutely doing exactly what they're doing right now, taking their time, taking as much time as they want. Even if it means that they get, like, if Fabianski got a yellow card or something for time wasting, I would be doing the exact same thing if I was in their position. Because why do they have to rush? Because we want them to? No, not at all. Because they're going to take advantage of everything that they can, and that's exactly what they should be doing in their position. What we should have been doing, and we haven't been able to do, is we haven't been able to put pressure on. You know, we've had a lot of chances in this game, but they've all been, some of them have been quite wayward. Even Van Dijk trying to take a shot from 35 yards out, and, you know, I mean, it's 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 one of these things, isn't it? It's, it, it's, it still shows that, as well as we've done, we're just not, we're still showing the frailties of, of previous seasons where we go to teams lower in the league and we just cannot pull a performance out of our ass. We just can't do it. You know, it's still Swansea have, have become a bit of a bogey team for us. I remember when I think Paul Clement took over, we played them and they beat us 3 1 or 3 2 or something like that. I, think, I remember it was uh, Lorente got two goals for them. And yeah, we had a bad performance then. Now, like I say, we've beaten Swansea this this season already, but now it looks like they're about to beat us. There's three minutes of added time. It doesn't look like we're going to do much, to be honest with you. Um, we just we've just looked so lacklustre. We really have. Mane's had a good few chances. Salah's been in some good positions, but to be honest, hasn't done a great deal. Firmino's been in good good areas of the pitch as well in in terms of being up front and stuff like that. They've just given. Uh, Mawson man of the match and probably rightly so at the moment um, we haven't done enough we have not done enough we really haven't I can't but carry us at fault for our goal uh, for their goal I really can't because there's not a great deal that he could have done with it the defence however I know Van Dyke tried to clear the ball and stuff like that with his uh, um, with the header down and stuff from from there, uh, I think was it a corner or something like that. I, I can't even remember what it was. Um, he tried to head it down. He tried to do his bit, but everybody else around him just did not do anything. Did not do enough. You know, we've got a tough game coming up against West Brom. You know, West Brom aren't a team that you know they're notoriously a difficult team to come up against, even whether they've got Pulis or not. They're a difficult team to come up against, and I'm not looking forward to that at all. You know, I know a lot of people are going to turn around and say, ah, well, you know, if you'd had Coutinho and stuff like that, and I'm just like, ah, yeah, but we don't. So there's not really a lot that we can do about that, is there? You know, I'm not in charge of, of Liverpool Football Club. <laughs> it's, it is what it is. They've sold Coutinho. We don't have him there, but we had enough on that pitch today to be able to create something. We're into the last minute of um of extra time of additional time not extra time we're into the last limit last minute now and i ju i just know that this isn't going to be we're not going to be able to claw back a late a late draw or anything like that we can finally we can say liverpool 
have now lost three times in the league. Three times. We've lost against the league leaders, Man City. We've lost against Tottenham 4-1 when they were doing pretty well and we were in a bad spell. And we've lost against bottom of the league. So we've lost against two top four contenders normally. Okay, Man City are going to run away with the leagues. I still believe that even though we beat them. Um, Tottenham, who've got massive threats in their team. Obviously, Harry Kane being the number one one. And then Swansea, who are bottom of the league. And are taking every opportunity that they can to waste time and stuff like that. And they're doing it right now. I'm, I'm literally watching. We're having to pump balls in and play basically Van Dijk as a striker. I mean, great stuff. You know, I, f I feel for all the fans that have um, <laughs> had to travel down to Swansea to go and watch that. Because that's been a dire performance. That's probably been our worst performance of the season. I, I will say that. I think it has been probably our uh, one of our worst performances of the season. I will definitely say that. And I think it would be accurate as well. So, yeah, there we go. It is now full time. And we've lost. So, there you go. Devastating. Really, really devastating. Not a good loss. Well, there's no good losses. That's a terrible loss, and we have to bounce back as quickly as possible. We really do. I mean, man, personally, it had been a pretty bad day already. It really had. Um, I'm obviously not showing that, you know. I don't think I am anyway. It had been a pretty bad day anyway, but there you go. I can't wait to go into work tomorrow with my supervisor, who's an Arsenal fan, probably buzzing off the fact that they're going to sign Aubameyang. I can't believe that. I can't believe they're going to get Aubameyang. I really, really can't. Ugh. Onwards and upwards, guys. We've, we've just got to move on. That's it. That's all we can do. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you later.